Indonesia product. In today's video, I will share with you a fashion brand of Indonesia, which is called Le Catino. In today's video, I will review a handbag of Le Catino that I got from my best friend Amanda. Actually, this is my first time to have a Le Catino bag. Before I review the bag, I will share a little bit about Le Catino brand. I will share with you what is Le Catino from their own website. Actually, before I make this video, I did some research about this brand. When I try to Google translate it, it should be Le Catino means the basin. But for me, this translation is quite weird. So I just asked to my friend who gave me this bag and she said that Le Catino is abbreviation of Le Tarikan Citra Artistic Tas Indonesia So there is no relation at all with the basin Which for me, the name and the brand is are very unique Le Catino is a fashion bag brand which focus on women's bag If you can see from the website, you can see that the menu is all about women's bag From the website, I see that Le Catino use PVC or polyphenyl chloride which they claim that this material is more expensive than the usual material because the durability this material can give from their website they claim that PVC is more durable than UPVC material so they use PVC as their main material I never buy this product before I get from Quora another Indonesians who have bought these products or know this brand he say that this brand is like Charles and Keith but the quality and the durability is better than Charles and Keith the other comments that I get it is written that the price is quite affordable and the quality is quite good I will share with you the link that I used for this video so you can check the link and know about this brand now let's talk about the real bag so how about packaging that I received Ta-da! Yeah, this is the bag that I received from Amanda. This is the dust bag and there is the bag inside. And you can see this is a fabric bag that in Indonesia we call it spawn bond. And this fabric is quite common in Indonesia to be used as a dust bag or shopping bag. So yeah, from the packaging is quite professional. So this is the logo and this is the Le Catino. And you can see the website address. They have been printed on the bag, so it is quite useful to ease the new customer like me to know more about this brand. And I think Jason Marcel is like the designer, I, I guess. But I cannot find more about who is the designer of the Lincatino or who is the founder of the Lincatino from their website. Actually, I know this brand before I received this. But I have never buy this brand. Yeah, usually they sell their bags to the department store or the e-commerce. So yeah, this brand actually quite popular in Indonesia. Okay, let's open the bag. Okay, they double the packaging with a usual plastic bag like this, and they also use a paper and I will take the bag from this plastic okay and this is the paper bag they use to cover the bag and I know this paper is quite common when you buy bags or any leather or any synthetic leather products they wear the product like this to prevent any scratch or any damage of the product and now let's see about the real product. Ta da! Wow! It's pretty, right? It is simple and elegant, I think. And it's it's very neat. Thank you to Amanda who gave me this. Okay, and this is the bag. You can see. This is the front side of the bag. And this is the back side. Okay. Okay, you can see the back side. They have very simple pocket to put any small thing you want to put in. As you can see, this is the dimension of the bag, right? And 
they already put paper or any material to keep the shape of this bag if you can see all of the handle back side and front side and the logos all of them they put plastic to prevent any damage or scratch before the bag is received by the customer so i think this is very professional and i love how care they are with their products so the customer can receive the product perfectly and about the metal you can see here you can see this is the metal the metal is very good in quality and it is quite thick I like when a fashion brand use a good quality material for the details like the zipper, like the metal, like the logo and I see they cut it very good in detail material if you can see this, there is a very tiny embossed text on the clip of the handle which is made of metal it is written like cut it so I think this brand is very amazing in their detail even the bag is quite simple in design so good job for like cut and let's see about the zipper this is the zipper if you can see okay you can see that the metal is very unique and this is the logo of the Le Catino. the cutting of the metal is very good and very neat the metal also very good in quality for me this metal is quite good and this kind of accessories like the zipper logo and the metal clip is very important in fashion because even the design is simple the detail will lift up the whole look of the product you can see how shiny the metal is about the zipper you can see this zipper is also good in material and it is quite soft so it gives good and smooth look for this product and for the material they only write kulit imitasi or synthetic leather so i guess this is a pvc that they mentioned in their website before and about the pvc material you can see this is the material that they use you can see the texture and the soft the PVC they use, you can see that. And I remember when I bought my Zara bag and my L bag, I remember that those international brands also use this kind of material, which is very soft and quite durable. And it is scratch proof because of the texture. But of course, if you scratch it with like knife or scissors, I think there is no material can durable if you get scratch from those kind of things. I think this is what that man who leaves his comment in Quora talk about. I think that's why he mentioned that this brand has the same material or similar material with Charles and Keith but has more durability feature in real usage. And I will try to open this bag so you can see what is inside. I will open this bag. Okay. And if you can see, as I expected, they put some paper inside the bag so the paper can maintain the original shape of the bag. And I will remove these papers to let you see what is inside. As you can see, this is the inside of the bag. Okay, if I see the stitching, the stitching is very neat. You can see, and the details is very neat. And the leading part, they use fabric like this. I'm not sure what kind of fabric that they use, but this fabric is very soft. And it's like a velvet for me. The whole leaning is just like this. It is the same with the other side. Right. As you can see, the bottom inside, they use PVC and the bottom is not that soft. I think they put a harder material or maybe glue or something like that to harden the bottom part. So that's why the bag is always in shape, even the body part is very soft. For the inside pocket, as you can see, they also use the PVC material and the zipper 
So if you put anything inside the pocket, you can just close it by the zipper. So I think this is very smart design and very convenient design. If you can see the zipper, they also emboss this like cutting note. The middle is very shiny and quite thick for me. And let's open the pocket and as you can see, there is sling that you can use to this bag. So you can attach this to one of this clip and another one on the back side. So yeah, I think this is quite convenient. For me, this bag is very simple in design. So you can put your things inside in these three pockets. I think this bag is suitable for a person who don't like bring a lot of stuff when they go outside. It is very convenient. Usually I use this kind of sling bag when I go to near place of my house or when I do traveling. So it is very convenient. Because of the two style design, I can use this as a handbag and I also can use this as a sling bag. I think this bag is very useful for me and the symbol design is very suitable for my personal style. So I suggest you to try this kind of sling bag if you are a person who likes simplicity when you go traveling. After we open the Le Catino bag, I will share my personal opinion about this bag. First, what I like of this bag is the simple and elegant design of the bag. As you can see, the design is very simple, both of the front side and the back side. Not only the design, but also the color of the product, very natural, which is natural tan. If I can say both of the design and the color are very simple, it is easier to mix and match to any color or clothes or any event. So yeah, for me, this bag is very, very helpful and I can use this to any occasion like small bar or traveling or go to malls or any meetings that need simplicity. And the second one, what I like of this product is they have two handles so I can mix and match which handle is more suitable with my outfit. So if I go to semi-formal occasion or events, I prefer to use this kind of handle. But if I want to go traveling or go to malls or informal meetings or events, I prefer to use this slinger. Yeah, so that's why I really love this product. And the third one, what I love of this product is they really care about the details like the logo, like the metal of the clip, the quality of the zipper, and the metal of the slinger. They really care the details, so even the design is very simple, these details will hugely change the look of this product. I really love when a fashion brand, especially like bags or shoes or belt, which has very good material in their details, especially in metal materials. So that's why I suggest you when you buy a fashion brand, you should concern more about the details. No matter how expensive your bag is, if the detail is not good, like the metals and like the stitching, it really will ruin the look. Let's talk about what I dislike about this product. Actually, this product has no small metals on the bottom side, which if you put this bag on a flat surface, it is okay. But if you put this bag in not flat surface, I think this bag will easily fall. That's what I think in my personal opinion. But I think if this kind of bag, which is decided to be a sling bag, I think the bottom part is not that important. But yeah, maybe that's my personal opinion. The second one that I quite must concern about this product is how I should care about this product because as you can see, the material is very soft and the inner side is a velvety fabric as you can see. Personally, for me, I should more careful when I use this bag because of the soft materials and the velvety inner material will be very easy to receive any dirt and because of the soft materials, I should put this bag in a place that quite safe and 
cannot put this back to a place that a lot of stuff here and there which can cause a damage to the soft imitation leather but I think it is a minor problem which I usually just put this kind of bag in my bag place so it will avoid that kind of damage for the conclusion for me Lecatino is a Indonesia brand but they have quite good materials and design which suitable for any women who love fashion and if you can see from my review the materials are good and for me the price is still affordable and for me the price versus the quality is equal so if you travel to Indonesia and if you want to buy a bag which is produced in Indonesia you can buy the Catino I'm not sure in another cities but what I know in Surabaya where I live now you can buy the Catino brand in popular department store like Matahari or Soho department for me this brand value is 8 out of 10 okay that's all for today if you have ever heard about this brand before please share your comments below i hope this review can give you insight about le Catino brand if you enjoy this video please give us a thumbs up and please click the subscribe button if you want to receive our notification when we publish a new video thank you for watching and see you in the next video